All right, everybody, welcome to the review slash gameplay impressions of the game Kunai. And this is a Metroidvania and the visuals. Yeah, definitely a pixel art style. The game, I will say, buttery smooth controls. Like, playing this game, you feel like you're flying around and whatnot. And it just, oh, it feels great. I think that is my favorite part of this game is just... Just the feel, like you're just flying through the air, flying through the sky, all sorts of stuff. But you don't actually fly. What makes you feel like you're flying around is the namesake of the, na of the game, these two kunais. And you can use them with the, uh, the bumpers or whatever button on the keyboard it is. And it is, it is great. Cling to walls, you can climb up walls with them, and, and all sorts of stuff. To add on to this robotic ninja action, you don't actually attack with the kanais, no. You damage with a katana, throwing stars, you got machine guns, and you got uh, giant... Well, okay, I won't go into that because we gotta save some stuff for, for no spoilers, right? It's typical Metroidvania fashion laid out on a map. It does have some unique gameplay sections. Some of them you're running left to right. Otherwise, you just get, like, crushed on the screen sections. There are health drops for defeating enemies. There are these collectible hats to get. However, I was kind of disappointed every time I picked one up just because, well, they don't really do anything. They're kind of a cosmetic. The first one I picked up, I was like, oh man, what's this going to do? What ability is it going to get me? Nothing. Aside from those, things you can find in chests are health heart upgrades. You need four of them to give yourself a little little boost there. Um, you can also buy upgrades from a shop for various abilities for your various weapons. There are a few of the upgrades on the map or you know, you get story-wise such as double jump and things of that nature. Stuff that you need. You know, those typical Metroidvania tropes. So, let's talk about the map for a little bit. I do, I did like the map. I thought, however, they could have put in some teleportation. Uh, I did not find that in my playthrough. If there is some, maybe it existed and I just didn't know how to, how to do it. It could be, but uh, that would have helped. I also didn't really like the fact that you couldn't zoom into other areas. You could zoom out to like, the world map, but it wouldn't show you what markers you placed in other areas. So, I don't know, that that could have been improved on. But it did do a, a decent job of showing you what rooms you haven't been in yet. Uh, it would put these little red boxes there. For the most part, it did keep some rooms hidden. And to get to hidden rooms, you didn't break through walls or anything. You, for the most part, just jumped and the wall was pass throughable. I guess I'll use that word. But yeah, you can place markers in this game. You can switch the kanais to kanai markers to like three different colors, I think it was. But again, not being able to zoom into other areas kind of surprised me. Anyways, uh, sound, I thought it was a good soundtrack. Um, but there was one area early on that it was like a forest area and there's these crickets and they really bugged me the sound of those crickets i i did not enjoy but um that was only one little little section there difficulty wise there were a few sections that were kind of on the harder side but for the most part it was fairly tame um restoring hp after defeating an enemy kind of helped mitigate any of the difficulty i mean save for some boss fights those weren't that bad either. So it was fairly a relaxing one for the most part. Not very long either. Somewhere in the 7 to 10s. I would check this one out, guys, if you like uh, Metroidvanias. I, like I said, best part of this game, just that zipping around, zippity doo dah through the screen. Yeah, that was, that, was my, that was the best part of it. It did have some stuff I would improve upon. Like I said, a little bit better way the map was created. Um, I did play on Switch. It did seem to run just as smooth and handheld as in docked mode. Give this a go, guys. If you want more um, retrovania action, you can uh, 
follow on the social medias down below. Suggest other games in the comments. I'd like to hear it. As always, you know, do the do the like thing on the video. Catch me on Twitch. Link will be in the description also. And uh, with that being said, everybody have a good night, good morning, enjoy your games. Thanks for watching. Hopefully I'll see you guys again next time. Goodbye, everybody.